dear students in this lecture we are going to learn about the radius of curvature center of curvature and how to find the evolute of parabola the first problem is show that in the parabola y squared equal to 4ax at the point t the radius of curvature denoted by rho is equal to minus 2a multiplied with 1 plus t squared the whole power 3 by 2 and the center of curvature that is the coordinates of the center of curvature is x comma y where x is equal to 2a plus 3a t cube and y is equal to minus 2a t cube so we have to prove this we have to prove that the radius of curvature is equal to this and we have to prove that the coordinates of the center of curvature is this also they are asking us to deduce the equation of the evolute so we are going to learn these three in this video so the formulas used is the formula for radius of curvature is rho is equal to 1 plus dy by dx the whole square whole to the power of 3 by 2 divided by d squared y by dx square we have already seen how to find the radius of curvature in our previous videos and then the center of curvature is given by the coordinate is x comma y where the value of x is small x minus y1 multiplied with 1 plus y1 square divided by y2 and y capital y is equal to small y plus 1 plus y1 square divided by y2 where y1 and y2 represent the derivatives of y this is the first derivative and this is the second derivative and x comma y will represent the point at which we have to find the center of curvature so we have already seen problems on center of curvature too now here in this video we are going to learn a new concept called evolute so all this three we are going to find for a parabola yes now here it is given that the equation of the parabola is y squared equal to 4ax we all know this but we also know that there are parametric equations for parabola what are they the parametric equation of a parabola is x is equal to a t squared and y is equal to 2 a t so this is the uh, parametric equation of the parabola so at these points we are going to find the radius of curvature and the center of curvature now actually radius of to find radius of curvature we need dy by dx and d squared y by dx square now dy by dx can be written as dy by dt divided by dx by dt that is here x and y are in terms of t so in that case we can't directly find dy by dx and for that reason we are taking dy by dx to be equal to first we have to differentiate y with respect to t divided by the differentiation of x with respect to t so this will give us dy by dx so let us find that now so x is given as a t squared so when we differentiate this x with respect to t we get dx by dt to be equal to a and the differentiation of t squared so that is 2t so therefore dx by dt will be 2at and then y is given as 2at so the differentiation of y that is dy by dt with respect to t will be this 2a is a constant so 2a multiplied with the differentiation of t so what is the differentiation of t it is 1 so that is equal to 2a so now we have evaluated dx by dt and dy by dt these two now we have to substitute here and we have to find dy by dx let us do that now so dy by dx will be equal to what is dy by dt it is 2a divided by dx by dt so this one so dx by dt is 2at so we have to substitute that here now this 2a and 2a will get cancelled and we get dy by dx to be equal to 1 by t so dy by dx is equal to 1 by t 
now using this we have to find d squared y by dx square where we have to differentiate this with respect to x so now again differentiating this with respect to x we get d squared y by dx square which is equal to now what is the differentiation of 1 by t 1 by t can actually be written as t to the power of minus 1 and the differentiation of t power minus 1 will be minus 1 t to the power of minus 1 minus 1 which will be minus 2 multiplied with the differentiation of t that is dt with respect to x so dx so we have to use chain rule here because we are differentiating this with respect to x but this is in terms of t in that case we have to again differentiate t with respect to x by using the chain rule method so what will be this this will be equal to minus t to the power of minus 2 t to the power of negative 2 can be written as 1 by t squared multiplied with what is dt by dx for that we have to look into this already we have found dx by dt to be 2at now we require dt by dx here that is the reciprocal of this what is the reciprocal of this it is 1 by 2at so here because this is dx by dt and we want dt by dx we have to remember that we have to take the reciprocal of this which is 1 by 2at so we have to multiply this by 1 by 2at and therefore what will be d squared y by dx squared it will be equal to we have this negative sign minus 1 divided by 2a and t squared multiplied with t is t cube so this is our d squared y by dx square next we shall find the radius of curvature so what will be the radius of curvature it is given by the formula where rho is equal to we have already already written the radius of curvature formula here that is 1 plus dy by dx the whole squared whole to the power of 3 by 2 divided by d squared y by dx square now, now we have found dy by dx and d squared y by dx square so we shall substitute here so first it will be 1 plus dy by dx square so that is equal to 1 plus dy by dx square what is dy by dx 1 by t so 1 by t squared will be 1 by t square whole to the power of 3 by 2 divided by d squared y by dx square because that is the formula here we have already written so d squared y by dx square so that we have to substitute here so what is d squared y by dx square it is negative 1 by 2 a t cube so this will be equal to so now we have to simplify this so we can take the lcm for over here and so that will be equal to the lcm is t squared so now we have to cross multiply this t squared with 1 so it will be t squared plus 1 okay whole to the power of 3 by 2 multiplied with this term so this when it goes in multiplication this will come to the numerator and so we will have the negative sign and then 2 a t cube yes now this negative sign can be taken in the front and so this will be equal to minus and this 2 a is also a constant so 2 a multiplied with now this power 3 by 2 is common to both the numerator as well as the denominator so let us split it up so it will be t squared plus 1 to the power of 3 by 2 divided by now here it will be so divided by now here we have t square to the power of 3 by 2 so t square to the power of 3 by 2 multiplied with now already this ne negative 2a we have taken in the front so we will be left out with t cube so that we will write here now if you see here here we have t square to the power of 3 by 2 so now this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled similarly the cube here we have t cube and here also we have t cube and so these two terms will get cancelled and finally we will be left out with equal to minus 2a multiplied with 
This can be written as 1 plus t squared to the power of 3 by 2. And so therefore our radius of curvature rho is equal to minus 2a multiplied with 1 plus t squared the whole part 3 by 2. Uh, this, so this is what we have to prove actually in the question. They are asking us to prove that rho is equal to minus 2a multiplied with 1 plus t squared to the power of 3 by 2. So we have proved that the radius of curvature is equal to this. Next we have to find the center of curvature and we have to prove that it is this. So uh, center of curvature is given here. So let us see how to do that now. Now the center of curvature formula I have already written here. Now we are using y1 and y2 here. What is y1? It is the first derivative of y. First derivative of y means dy by dx. So what is dy by dx actually? It is equal to 1 by t. So therefore y1 is equal to 1 by t. So we are already having y1 here. Now next we need y2 also. So what is y2? y2 is the second derivative of y with respect to x. What is second derivative of y with respect to x? It is d squared y by dx square. So this is our y2. So that we have found here and we have found it to be minus 1 by 2a t cube. So therefore y2 is equal to what? Negative 1 by 2a t cube. So let us mark that also. Now we have to substitute these two at uh, in these two formulas to find the center of curvature. So now we shall use these two formulas and find the center of curvature. Now what is this x? x is already we have taken a t square. In the beginning of the form problem when we wrote the parametric equation of the parabola we wrote x is equal to a t squared and y is equal to 2 a t. So these two we have to substitute in this formula. Now let us find capital X first. So X will be equal to, now small x is a t squared. So first we shall substitute that. So a t squared minus y1. What is y1? 1 by t. So 1 by t multiplied with 1 plus y1 square. So 1 by t squared divided by y2. y2 is negative 1 by 2a t cube. So that we have to write here minus 1 by 2a t cube. Now we shall simplify this. So this will be equal to so this a t squared first we will write so a t squared and this minus into minus will become plus. So plus now this 1 by t and within the bracket we can take LCM here so it will be t squared and in the numerator cross multiply here so it will be t squared plus 1 and this which is here in the denominator can be written in the numerator because this is the reciprocal so it will become 2 a t cube now so that will be equal to now we can uh, we have t and t squared here together it is t cube so this t cube and this 2 will get cancelled and so we will be having a t squared so this term plus now here we have 2 a t so that we can write so 2 a now and when we multiply it here it will be 2 a multiplied with t squared so 2 a t squared and then plus 2 a so plus 2 a and that is equal to a t squared plus 2 a squared will become 3 a t square plus 2 a so this is our capital x so therefore capital X is equal to 3a t squared plus 2a. So let us mark it. Now next we have to evaluate the y coordinate. So what is y? y is equal to small y. So what is small y? 2a t. It is 2a t plus this one. So 1 plus y1 square. What is y1? It is 1 by t. So it will be 1 by t squared divided by y2 y2 is 1 by i mean uh, minus 1 by 2 a t cube so let us substitute that here y minus 1 by 2 a t cube so we shall simplify this so this will be equal to 2 a t plus this plus into minus it will become minus so minus okay, be very careful with the signs so plus into minus is minus multiplied with 
this one we can take LCM so t squared so it will become t squared plus 1 multiplied with now this will come to the numerator because it is the denominator of the denominator so it will be 2 a t cube and so now we can see that here one of we have t squared and t cube here so one of the t will remain here and we will cancel t squared and t squared so this will be equal to 2 a t and then we will multiply this 2 a within so it will become minus 2 a t square so the 2 a multiplied with t t squared so it will be minus 2 a t squared then minus 2 a so now actually we are left out with t also here so it will be 2a t multiplied with t square first so 2a t multiplied with t squared will be 2a t cube because t squared into t will be t cube and then plus into minus minus 2a t so this is what we get and this 2a t and this 2a t gets cancelled and finally we are left out with negative 2a t cube so therefore the y coordinate is equal to minus 2a t cube so this is our y center of uh, i mean y coordinate of our center of curvature so therefore the coordinates of the center of curvature so center of curvature is x comma y which is equal to what first we have to write the x coordinate x coordinate we have evaluated as 3 a t squared plus 2 a comma the y coordinate negative 2 a t cube so this is the center of curvature so now if you see we have proved that x is equals to 3 a t squared plus 2 a that is that is what required here we have to prove x is equals to 2 a plus 3 a t cube in the question it has to be t squared by mistake i have written it as t cube actually we have to prove that x is equals to 2 a plus 3a t square so that is what we have proved here we have found x to be equal to 3a t square plus 2a and then we have to prove that y is equal to minus 2a t cube so we have uh, we, are, we have proved this here we have proved that y is equal to minus 2a t cube now next we have to find the evolute of this parabola so by definition the evolute of a curve is the locus of the center of curvature for a curve is called the evolute of the curve so to find the evolute of the curve first we should write the coordinates of the center of curvature what are they just now we have found the x coordinate is 3 a t squared plus 2 a and then the y coordinate is equal to minus 2 a t cube that is negative 2 a t cube so we have written the coordinates first now we can find the evolute by eliminating t from x and y so the equation of the evolute can be found by eliminating this t from x and y so how shall we do that now first we will find t in terms of x so now what is our x x is equals to 3 a t squared plus 2 a so from this we can write 3 a t squared okay we can write 3 a t squared to be equal to now what will be that it will be x minus 2 a so taking 2 a to the other side it will be x minus 2 a now from this we will get t squared to be equal to so what is uh, t squared bringing this 3a to the denominator here it will be x minus 2a divided by 3a so therefore what will be t finally from this t will be equal to square root of x minus 2a by 3a so now this square root can be written as so from this t will be equal to x minus 2a by 3a the whole power 
1 by 2 because square root can be written as to the power 1 by 2. Now what we will do, we will substitute this value of t in our y coordinate that is our y equal to minus 2a t cube we have no. There at the place of t we will substitute this value. So what will happen, y will be equal to negative 2a t cube we are having. So this is t. So t is x minus 2a divided by 3a already we have to the power 1 by 2 now we have to take the cube of this so cube will be will become 3 by 2 because cube of this uh, t so it will be x minus 2a by 3a to the power 3 by 2 now we want to get rid or get rid of this square root that is this power 1 by 2 so for that what we will do we will square on both the sides so squaring on both the sides what do we get now y here we have so y square will be equal to this negative sign when we take the square it will become positive and the square of 2 is 4 and the square of a is a square multiplied with now this power 1 by 2 will go away because we are squaring it and it will be x minus 2a okay this cube we will write here divided by now here 3a cube alone we will have so what is the cube of 3? 3 multiplied with 3 multiplied by 3 which is 27. So 27 and the cube of a is a cube. Now we will take this 27 a cube to the left hand side. But before that we will cancel this a squared and here we will have 1 a. So we will take 27 a to the left. So what we will get is 27 a y square to be equal to now here we have a 4 so 4 multiplied with x minus 2a the whole cube so this is the evolute of the parabola so we have found the evolute of the parabola so therefore the locus the locus of the center of curvature x comma y is given by 27a y squared equal to 4 multiplied with x minus 2a the whole cube which is the evolute of the parabola and you know this equation is called as semi cubical parabola so semi cubical parabola so what is the evolute of the parabola it is the semi cubical parabola given by this equation Hope you have understood the complete problem clearly. Thank you.